one who is a member of the establishment media, having worked at CBS News and Fox News for many years, make no mistake, it's a coordinated machine. A machine that spins a specific narrative curated by the bosses and for the masses. In the left's latest attempt to destroy former President Trump, CNN revealing a two-minute clip of an audio tape from 2021. In it, Trump is allegedly heard acknowledging keeping national security documents he supposedly did not declassify. Well, with Milley, uh, let me see that. I'll, I'll show you an example. He said that I wanted to attack Iran. So that's the money clip that all the media outlets have been playing ad nauseum. But what about this clip they haven't been playing for you? Hillary would print that out all the time, you know. <laughs> she'd, send it, no, she'd send it to yeah. Anthony Weiner. Yeah. Listen, I, I'm not saying what was said there by Trump was his best move. However, when anyone who covers the actual reality of this story and looks at it in its totality, they're subject to the left's wrath, including myself. Mediaite, the source of all truths, <laughs> yeah, right, of course, uh, taking what I said yesterday while I was hosting a Newsmax program, and they used only a truncated version of my comments as the headline, proving exactly why you have to read beyond the headline. So what I was trying to say is Trump is who he is. And then I held up my scripts and said, just because I'm saying this is a classified document like Trump allegedly did, does it make it true? And as someone who has interviewed Trump, he is very charming in person, funny, and dare I say, a showman. Hence why he consistently gets such high ratings, even for his rallies, even to this day. But don't take it from me regarding trying to make sense of the audio clip. President Trump responded himself. He claims now him holding up the so-called Iran classified document was simply bravado. Trump maintains he had no classified documents in his possession, and he has no regrets regarding his handling of such materials. Oh, and uh, by the way, this is breaking news. You saw it on Chris Salcedo's show. A crucial piece of evidence in this classified documents case has now come to light. Of course, most of the left-wing media is burying the lead. But according to CBS News of all places, you know, my alma mater, that infamous Defense Department memo on Iran, which is the document in question here, you know, the smoking gun that the left-wing media says, isn't even mentioned in the 49-page indictment against Donald Trump. Nowhere is it in those 31 counts of espionage, that willful retention of national defense information. So basically, no one can really prove that this the document, this supposed smoking gun that's on audio, it, it doesn't exist if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it make it sound. If no one has the document, if it hasn't been recovered or recorded, does it exist? That's a question I don't know who's going to answer. Yet here's how the left is covering this case. Welcome back. This week we learned special counsel Jack Smith's investigation of whether Donald Trump mishandled classified documents apparently includes an audio tape that some consider could be a smoking gun. It does complicate things that the president has wide authority to declassify documents. That was Trump's best offense until the smoking gun recording came out. Donald Trump is responding. That is a problem. That is the problem. Why? For because when you are in the midst of an investigation and you are... Zip it. Be quiet. Be quiet. You know, as a former prosecutor, I can tell you, it's very rare that you get a smoking gun. That is, that's the stuff for TV. That is the stuff for sitcoms and drama. And I realize it's very exciting, but it's not realistic. But Donald, he's made for TV. Donald Trump <laughs> has managed to provide prosecutors with smoking arsenals. Smoking arsenal. So you're trying to tell me that they have audio of Trump allegedly holding up this Iran memo, yet... Special counsel Jack Smith didn't even charge him for it, even though that they have audio of him saying that he has the document. Make it make sense. Well, here at Newsmax, where we actually report the truth, our legal guests, all nonpartisan experts, by the way, say the tape actually proves nothing. Take a listen. Even if everything they say that the recording suggests is true, I don't think it has anything to do with the main claim. Who cares? You play this tape in front of a jury. You know what the jury says? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Meantime, here's what our current president said just the other day. 
I was just thinking, uh, uh, the, anyway, I started off without you. And I sold a lot of state secrets and a lot of very important things that we shared. You see the look of Modi's face on there? Oh, my goodness. Could you imagine if Trump ever said anything like that? It would be nonstop coverage of how Trump is a traitor, he's a spy. Yet this is how the Associated Press covered that gaffe. Social media posts misconstrue Biden's joke about selling state secrets. Really? So this was just a, a joke? Not only was Biden's joke in poor taste, it really hits different when you consider the legal trouble he and his relatives are currently in. And now one of the IRS whistleblowers is claiming that the Biden cash from the Ukrainian company Burisma was actually laundered through China. And if this was anyone else besides Hunter, he'd actually be in prison by now. Take a listen. There were certain investigative steps that we weren't allowed to take that could have led us to President Biden. If this was any other person, they likely would have already served their sentence. Wow. All roads connected to Biden seem to uh, lead back to China. Hmm, very interesting there. And I'm sure after laying this all out, the left-wing media machine will come after me again. But do I worry? Absolutely not. Because as the saying go, goes, the truth comes out in the wash.